All right, Brian, new at noon, local emergency responders are remembering the life of a local firefighter. Captain Chris Truman was killed by an accused drunk driver New Year's Eve. Lauren Winfrey has more on his life and the legacy he leaves behind. Sharing memories of Captain Truman wasn't easy for his colleagues at a news conference this morning as they wiped tears from their eyes. But even in the midst of sadness, there was also a glimmer of hope because they say they know their friend died doing what he loved. A first responder and a good Samaritan. 46-year-old Lake Mills Fire Captain Chris Truman died doing what he was most passionate about, helping others. He was doing what he's done for 13 years um, in a different role, you know, and ultimately died doing what he loved to do. Captain Truman was killed by an accused drunk driver on New Year's Eve. He was hit after stopping to help people involved in a crash on a Dane County highway. His colleagues say that night he was doing what any first responder would have done, but unfortunately it cost him his life. Uh, it's like someone let the air out of us. Um, I mean, it just, uh, Ever just feels empty. That feeling of emptiness is also echoed throughout the community. Captain Truman served the city of Lake Mills as a firefighter for 13 years. Prior to that, he worked at a local Ace Hardware where everyone knew his name. And today, he's remembered as a hero. We will go on. We will be stronger. And the 28-year-old driver who allegedly hit Captain Truman was arrested and booked into jail.